My research area um, is called process systems engineering, which is a modern branch of uh, chemical engineering that deals with uh, optimal decision making, optimal design, and operation of chemical processes. There are a lot of challenges which are very complex. Uh, we have to make uh, quick decisions, uh, optimal decisions, uh, considering all different trade-offs. So process systems engineering deals with uh, optimization methods that can uh, help in making decisions which are optimal. As I said, uh, there are a lot of uh, complex challenges in chemical process industries. Uh, for example, uh, I work in carbon capture and uh, storage, uh, which is a multi-scale challenge. There exist uh, material development challenges, uh, selection of materials, selection of optimal processing routes, selection of optimal supply chain. When we consider all these different time scales and length scales, uh, it becomes uh, a pretty difficult challenge for human minds to come up with a solution which will satisfy both our economic and environmental needs. So that's why we need advanced modeling, optimization, and numerical techniques that can help us making uh, good decisions. That is why I think uh, the tools that I use, the methods that I develop in my group with my students are very important and uh, make fundamental contributions to solve some of the most challenging problems. There are two applications that we focus on in our group. One is called systematic process intensification. Uh, process intensification is an area which uh, gains a lot of interest because here we want to optimally combine multiple phenomena that happens in a chemical process to reduce the energy consumption, to minimize the cost, to help the environment, to minimize waste. Uh, this is one area. Another area that we look into is uh, known as uh, carbon capture and storage. Uh, we really look for uh, selecting optimal materials, uh, techniques that can design our chemical processes uh, much better to accommodate uh, carbon capture processes without spending too much of energy. And also, how do we connect different sources of CO2 uh, with different needs and um, application areas for CO2, uh, for utilization? Uh, to produce different chemicals and fuels. So these are the two major areas that we look into. At Texas a and we really try to make sure that when the students go out, uh, they are not afraid of uh, addressing real life challenges and problems. So here we provide a lot of training how to solve uh, engineering problems, uh, but also we provide education so that they uh, can define the problems uh, which are sometimes open-ended, which are not textbook problems. So uh, how they address the real life problems uh, without fear, uh, with confidence, that's what we try to instill uh, among our students. There are many things that I like about Texas A&M, but the first thing that comes into my mind uh, is the students, uh, both the undergraduate and the graduate students. The undergraduate students are really curious. Uh, they are always excited to work with. Uh, they have this curiosity to learn, and most of all, they have this uh, spirit, fighting spirit, the Aggie spirit. Uh, the graduate students that we uh, also have, I'm really proud of my, some of the graduate students that we have in our department. Uh, they, uh, they are doing a really great research. On the other hand, um, they also come from uh, many parts of the world, which makes it a diverse environment for research.